Why then is it so important for nations to protect themselves if we proclaim peace? It is because you do not yet live in a perfected world of peace, but you live in a world that is troubled by violence and greed. Therefore, we have spoken of the development of the railgun. We have spoken of the development of other means of protection. And we will elaborate on these somewhat now and the reasons for the necessity of the development of these. There is the looming possibility of limited nuclear war. It is a real possibility. Even though schools throughout the land no longer run the little drills that tell children how to protect themselves, the reality is more so today than it was during the Soviet Cold War when everybody thought they should be scared of a nuclear attack. The way that protection can be developed is several fold. On the first front, it has been spoken of multiple times that the railgun is being developed, will become even a small device that can be handheld. However, it is important for you to realize that the railgun also will be used in a larger version that has a huge range and a great impact and that the speed of such is incredible and the accuracy is incredible and when combined with computers is actually an inexpensive way to develop a protection system that can be used in the event of nuclear attacks to be able to shoot rockets out of the sky not just to do damage elsewhere, but to actually become a protective net because these are so much cheaper and so many more can be shot with such frequency and with such speed that they can become a virtual impenetrable barrier to anyone seeking to attack a country. Thus, a country can have weapons that are non-nuclear, that are actually not able to be penetrated by those who would seek to do nuclear damage. This is incredible when you think about it. It is further important that people think about the fact that police have been actually fighting against the public at times in ways where people are being harmed and there should be no necessity for the harm. We will tell you this, that microwaves could be used to disperse riots without making any lasting harm to individuals. It is also possible to use sound as a weapon and finally you should realize that rail guns function with magnetic force which is utilizing electric. Now it is other possible to use electric not only for the benefit of mankind, 
but electric itself can be used as an impulse weapon that would disrupt, especially if it is carrying microwave or magnetic force. Thus, by disrupting, it could, without harming, without destroying, without killing, stop enemy fleets, stop missiles, stop airplanes, stop cars, stop motors, stop communication. Consider it like little controlled radiations or storms bursting from the sun. Yes, you can use generated electrical pulses in the same way when you learn to combine these with the proper wave frequencies. So, why do we tell you these things? Do we tell you these because you should be making better and bigger and greater weapons? No, we tell you these because you should be making forms of defense that will not destroy either the earth or the life upon the earth and especially not humanity, for humans, humans, humans are created in the image of the living God. And if you would simply kill humans, then you would simply kill God if you had the chance. If you thought that God didn't want what you wanted, if you thought that God was going to send a tidal wave or tomorrow destroy your country, you would think, oh, but we'll just kill God. That's the way humanity thinks. Just go out and slay whatever doesn't work in your little world. It's not about the fact it's not working in your little world. It's about the fact that you're not fitting into the world, that you're not living by the laws of the world, that you are not living by the laws of the universe, that you are not living by divine principles. The failures are not the failure of God. The failures are not the failure of the earth. The failures are humanities. Change, change, change. There is time to change. And that time is now. Because if you fail to change, the earth, it may roll and turn, it may even burn, but it will live on with or without humanity. We leave you with blessings and with peace. Peace be with you.